Lion Sage Stories for Kids Chapter 17 The Eternal Now Pretend that you are balanced on a tightrope like a circus performer without a net? If you bend too far left, you would fall to the ground. Left is like the past, right is like the future. A perfect balance at the center of the rope is like the now. We want to stay in the now, balanced on the tightrope. We do not want to fall into the past or the future. What is the now? We all know what the past is. Many people live in the past, remembering all the happenings, good and bad, they have experienced. Others live in the future often worrying about all the bad things that might happen. The ability to live in the now is a spiritual power that we all have. We just have to learn how to use it. When we quiet the mind, leave regret and worry behind, we live in the now. To quiet the mind is simple, but it is not easy. It takes practice, just like the tightrope walker has to practice for many months to be able to walk across the canyon without falling. To find the eternal now, just balance things like the tightrope walker. If you are worried, say to yourself, I am all right right now. This very instant, I am all right. I'm all right right now. The past and the future both seem real when we experience them. But now is the only real time. And now, little mouse, is where great things happen, great ideas take flight, and creations happen. Artists live in the now, inventors invent in the now, athletes do their best in the now, poets write in it, you guessed it, the now. You can get there anytime. Just say, I'm all right, right now, and let the feeling of these words vibrate within you. Once in a while, in the now, we plan for our future, set goals we want to achieve. Then, because we have a strong reaction of some sort, our enthusiasm dies. We may even forget our goals, or we may not feel we are able to reach our goals. This is our instinctive nature. If we cannot control these instincts, we get distracted and find ourselves wandering off the great path. Imagine you have a goal to find some Swiss cheese, but then you saw a talking butterfly and forgot about the cheese. Get it? If we keep focused and use our willpower, all our goals can be achieved, even the big ones. Staying focused and using your willpower to overcome doubts means one day you can have all the cheese you can eat. The truth is, little mouse, that past and future are not real. Only the now is real, and so it is worth trying to live in the now, because then you are living fully. When the alien ships of the future attack your peace of mind, the bubble of now protects you. When asteroids of the past threaten that same peace, the now keeps them away. Every time you see your mind running off to the past or imagining the future, bring it back to now. Keep practicing. The past and future all depend on the present. They are connected. The mystic doesn't allow his awareness to dwell too long in the past and relive in his mind what happened to him. The mystic doesn't spend excessive time in the future imagining experiences that may or may not happen. He remains in the present right now. He looks at the past as a history book and the future as a planning book. By doing so, he brings both past and future into the now. This makes him wise and able to make good decisions. Tell yourself that you are the master of body, mind, and emotions. Feel this to be true. You will find that you are all right, right now, in this instant. You will find yourself free from fear, worry, and doubt. You will be able to travel anywhere happily.
from rural farm to noisy city, piloting your 108 now mobile. Mystic Mouse has learned a lot about time, especially past, future, and now. He sees the wisdom of not getting lost in past memories and the wisdom of not wasting time in future imaginations. He can use the past to guide him in the now, and he can use the future to plan other nows. Living in the now seems easy after he has practiced how to do it. Mouse has always wanted to have a safe place. He thought it might be a hollow tree or an old box. But he realizes that the really safe place is in his own mind, as long as he is in the now. For several days he's been watching himself go through various emotions. Fear, desire, boredom, excitement, happiness. He has been using Lion Sage's tool to keep himself safe and happy. That tool is the mantra, I'm all right right now. It has become his favorite saying in all the world. He wants to thank Lion Sage for this gift of self-sufficiency this gift of emotional control and security. And he tells himself he will do that next time they meet. Hit the like button, subscribe, and notification bell.